Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Global Healthy Living. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what are your poo or feces or stool shape, texture, and consistency says about your health. But before you continue, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Subscribe and share. So, um, before I continue with this video, I just want to tell you that it's very, very important to pay attention to your faces. And inspecting them regularly is equally important. This is because in case of any problem, you will easily notice it and then seek for medical advice. We have seven types of poo and they all mean something. The first type of poo is called marbles. Uh, marbles appear hard and separate little lumps that look like nuts and are hard to pass. If you have uh, this kind of poo, it means that you are constipated and this shouldn't happen frequently if it does please uh, go to the hospital the second type of poo uh, is called caterpillar caterpillar appears long shaped and lumpy if you have that it also shows that you are constipated and it shouldn't happen uh, frequently if it does please go to the hospital the third type of poo or stool is called hot dog hot dog appears like a log shaped with some cracks on the surface this is the golden standard of poo especially if it is soft and easy to pass and the fourth type of poo is called sausage or a snake this kind of poo appears soft and smooth it's like a snake uh, doctors also consider this kind of poo as normal that should happen every one or three days the fifth type of poo is called amoeba amoeba appears small easy to pass and if you have this type of poo it means that you are lacking fiber. The sixth type of poo is called soft surf. Soft surf appears fluffy and mushy with ragged edges. This type of poo, uh, it indicates that uh, you have mild diarrhea. Uh, the seventh type of poo is called Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock appears completely with no solid pieces. This indicates that you have got runs or diarrhea. This means that the stool moved uh, through your bowels very quickly and did not form into a healthy poop. If you have that uh, and it keeps happening or it's consistent, please go to the hospital because you can get dehydrated. With the size and the consistency of poo, it can help to know if something wrong is going on in your body. So, uh, now I present to you uh, the colors of poo. First, black. If your poo is black, it can happen due to different things. Number one, it can be because you've had licorice, or iron supplements or you have taken some uh, medication however if you've not done that black poo indicates bleeding in the upper gastrointestinal tract and this is serious it means you are bleeding inside another color of poo uh, can be green one can have green poo because they have eaten leafy vegetables like spinach and this is normal if you eat vegetables and then you have green poo, it's normal. But if you have green poo and you've not eaten green uh, 
vegetables indicates that maybe you have food poisoning or a bowel disorder. In women that are pregnant, it can sometimes happen that they have green poo. Another color of poo can be pale or white or clay. If your poo is chocolate light shade, it may mean that you are lacking bile. And bile is a digestive fluid that comes from your liver and gallbladder. If you are producing a white stool, it probably means that your duct is blocked. Pale poop can also mean side effect of a certain medications. Either way, if it continues, please go to the hospital and seek for medical help. Another color of poo is red. It's not a surprise to you that uh, if you have red poo, it means that you're bleeding. But then what causes this bleeding? Bleeding can be due to hemorrhoids or it can be bleeding in the lower intestinal tract. However, if your stool is a little red, there may be no need uh, to flick out. But if it's too red, please seek immediate uh, medical attention. And uh, you have to know that uh, there are certain things that can also make uh, poo to be red. Like if you eat foods like beets, uh, cranberries, and tomato juice, uh, your poo is likely to be red. But if you're not eating those uh, kind of foods, and your poo is red, it may indicate that you are bleeding. So seek for medical advice. Last color of poo, uh, which may indicate something, is yellow poo. Uh, having a yellow poo may simply mean that you have been eating yellow food items like sweet potatoes, carrots, tamarind, or yellow food curry. In addition, people with the gastroesophageal reflux disease get yellow poo. And those taking medications for our gastro reflux disease, note this. If your poo suddenly turns yellow, this can indicate that you have an intestinal infection, particularly if you also have uh, other signs like diarrhea, fever, flu-like symptoms, and stomach cramps. If you have those, it may indicate that you have an uh, intestinal infection. If you have such an infection, please go to the hospital and get treated. And one may ask uh, that, why does my poo float in the toilet? Most likely, it may be that your stool has increased amount of gas or water or it may mean that you have a higher intake of fiber. However, poop that consistently floats may be a sign that your body is not observing fats properly. And when this happens, you get a condition called cititoria. Also some gastrointestinal disorders like irritable bowel syndrome can cause poo to float in the toilet. If you have that uh, and it is consistent, uh, please go to the hospital and get medical help. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe if you've not done that. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my 